So we'll do the Emir conglomerate um, for our, our Votan, our other Votan model. I uh, personally like to airbrush the clothing and do the armor uh, by hand. It's a little bit like the, the Tyranid's dilemma of like, do, uh, do you airbrush the, the soft or the hard, right? Uh, a little bit similar to this. I think if you do Imperial Guards, you, you're familiar with this uh, with, with this debate. So I really uh, I like to do the the cloth because it's deeper and it's kind of harder to do a, a very smooth blending with it. Whereas on the armor, I think it's easier because I think red is one of those colors that's like really easy to blend when you know the trick and I'm gonna show you the trick so we'll do that so our first so this guy is like black and he's deeply black right there's no flaw in the primer basically it's like super black from all angle black deep black 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 um, so we'll highlight straight with um, either the fang or wolf gray so a uh, bluish kind of gray that's like the emir clothing line basically it's uh, it's got that bluish gray to it uh, which really contrasts with the red so it's a very interesting take so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go with like a very soft highlight to begin with and we'll do the gun as well because most of the gun stays uh, well basically we'll, we'll do the entire model we're gonna treat it as like if everything was staying this bluish bluish black color so we'll just go slowly and do the entire thing so I'm kind of happy with this this medium here. So you can see a bunch of the black, but it's all gray, right? Whatever piece you look, it's not black, it's gray. We are good. So I like this. I'm interested. Uh, I think this is interesting for sure. For the sake of, of clarity in the video, what we'll do now uh, makes no sense, okay? But uh, it's not how we would paint this mall if we had like a, a unit or an army in front of us but for the sake of the video we'll finish this kind of bluish gray now and then we'll move on to the other colors actually even this is like too stupid to do now we'll do silver first okay at least we'll do the silver and the brown and th and then we'll finish with the red okay you see i changed my it's too st even for me it's too stupid you should not do that when you paint your minis because this is this is kind of a tutorial for an army so i should show you the, how you should paint like your entire like army thing right i think it, otherwise it makes no sense so next we'll do the brown oops so they kind of minimal with the with the silver i don't want to put too much uh Because I'm really more interested in having the red shine everywhere than having like silver or having uh, again the gold the gold somewhere in there uh, kind of outshine the rest of it. I like the red uh, to be the the main thing here, and I think it lo it looks really good. But you have to, but you do have to kind of tone it down with the 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 other colors to to get that that impact. Uh, there's next we'll use a leather brown to highlight this uh, gives us like a nice natural little color you can use a uh, steel legion drab as well same same color but from games workshop instead if you are a fanboy of the g dubs but we have leather brown here it was, it was already pulled out from some other uh, from our uh, another votan guy so might as well use it Leather brown and steel legion drab, very very similar. So there we go. I think I hit them all. And my plan, out of like laziness, my plan was to keep the hair on this guy into the blackish bluish color, because because he can. So now we're kind of done with the the colors that that we wanna that we wanna shade with the black. So that's what we'll do now, just to finish off these colors. We could wait and, and do this at the end with all the washes. But because this, again, because this is a video, we'll try to finish as, as much stuff that makes sense as possible. So finishing all these colors now is the way to go, I think. OK. 
Okay. So as you can see, I'm doing kind of a little bit of everything here except the armor plates because I'm not too sure which other like extra stuff I want to put red. So we're just going to shade everything and then, then figure it out later. Which is also why doing this shade now is kind of a, maybe a mistake. But again, this is the stuff that when you do your own army, you get to figure out on your on your own, right? When to do shade, when, like when it makes more sense and stuff. Because now this is the one vote that we're painting. But if we if we do you know a unit or an army, well, next time we know better. Same things. We'll do parts of the backpack again because I'm not too sure which parts I wanna wanna save and which which parts I wanna make red. So we'll do. So next up, let's do the face first. I th uh, let's do let's do the armor first, just because so that way we can get into the uh, like the crevices and stuff. Because if we do the face now, getting like the like the recesses in the in the face is gonna be like real hard. So we'll use Mephistone red. Mephistone is the best red ever. No, no debates to be had. So the armor is starting to take shape. So again, like like all things, when you're not sure what to do, red, because now we we can do extra like armor plates in red, right? So when you're not sure, do the ones that you're kind of uh, forced into painting red. Right? Like right now, the armor and the shoulder plates, they kind of need to be red. And then after that, once that's done, then we'll move on to like, this could be red if we want to. So we'll do uh, we'll do the top of the re I like the I don't know why the the top of the reactor I think it begs it begs us to be the color of the armor. Maybe we keep like half of the. Yeah, we'll keep a, a part a part in in gray. That will, will be interesting. The most important part of all the Votan. Good old jockstrap. So now we're going to use uh, Evil Sun Scarlet and we're going to highlight the ever-loving crap out of this red. And you can do this in any uh, fashion you like. If you enjoy dry brush, just dry brush it. I like uh, I like to heavy I like the red because it's uh, it's a color that's like very translucent so it's very easy to blend smoothly on our model so you're using kind of the the weakness of red which is like it covers poorly and it's very translucent uh, to a strength because you turn it into like I want it to be translucent because it blends easier so let's go. Uh, and then lastly, we need to do the face here because, well, our guy is not uh, listening to his mom and he's not putting on a helmet. So, safety second. No time for caution when you're a badass. So again, I'm, I'm trying to dodge the air because I like it black, so I don't want to repaint it anyway. Same thing with the mustache. There we go. This is neato. So now let's give the red a, a good shading, and then we'll come back to the face once it has got like a little bit of time to dry. Again, for the 19th time in this video, um, you know, if we were doing the, the whole army or the whole unit, we would not need to, to account for stuff drying. But because we're only doing one, well, now we, we do. So don't do one model if you can help it. Do the, 
do the whole do the whole thing. And recently, I learned that uh, going the whole nine yards had nothing to do with golf, and I was sad. For the skin, then we'll do the, the agroxer shade for the the face here, uh, just because it's very straightforward. Nothing, nothing crazy. It was not dry. And now the only thing left here is to do a little glowy color of some sort for the the kind of like plasma whatever gun that is. And, uh, well, chat, we made it two hours into the stream without resorting to the bright green, so it's time. Turquoise would look nice. Purple would look somewhat okay in this. But gray, bright green, it is the way. And we'll even do the, the top ones here, these little lines here. Oh yeah. Cool. And again, if, if this guy had a visor on with, with his, his little helmet, uh, we would do uh, we would do this in bright green as well. Uh, arguably, we could we could also do the visor in like silver to match the other details. But um, I, I think I think having the bright green uh, it just slaps, as the the younglings say. Perfect. And like this. This green here is called, well the, the original green is Mood Green and Flash Gets. This is like, this is the two color combo. Uh, Mood Green, Flash Gets Yellow is, is banger. And then the, the other one I use is Way Watcher Green, which no longer exists. But you can use uh, the contrast paint, Warp Lightning. Warp, yeah, Warp Lightning. Uh, and then thin it down, it will be the same thing. Uh, to get like a little uh, little glowy color like so and now all that's left here for our guy is to be placed on a base and we have two options right now so this one here is kind of a deserty deserty yellow color this one here is more martian ish um, i like this one a lot more because of the red uh, on there i think it will clash a lot more on this base so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just dry brush this with uh, some sort of like bone color. Very quickly. Just get something interesting in there. And then we could shade this with Seraphim Sepia, which I think we will, because it will look nice. It will bring that, that yellow tone into it. So now we'll hit the three colors I said it is kind of stupid earlier. And then now we get to hit it in a more toned down way because of the base. There we go. We will glue this guy. And uh, for these bases, you can use uh, you can use like the the leather brown 
type of color or uh, steel legion to do the side of the base it looks for pale bases it looks nice a lot of people i i a lot of people just go with black for because it, it also black works with everything right? it, it works all the time and the only the detail i noticed uh, that we didn't do was the um the little pip boy on the uh, on his uh, on his right hand right arm He's got like little buttons, so we're gonna paint them green as well. There we go. And there we go. Uh, but here's a we here we have like a little uh, little Votan. Uh, Emir conglomerate, bright gun, kind of grim dark a little bit, but with bright red. I like it. If you want to spend more time on these, you can add extra highlights. 